Good morning and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco. Today I am joined by Brandon, uh, one of our business advisors, to talk about Odoo Survey and uh, how it can help your business. So welcome, Brandon. Thank you. Uh, today, uh, we'll, as with any other webinar, if you have any questions uh, about Odoo Survey, please put them in the chat and we'll get to them at the end uh, during our usual uh, Q&A session. And if you showed up late or would like to watch any part of this webinar again, uh, by all means use this link that you're using to watch us now and uh, watch it whenever it's convenient for you, day or night. Um, so with that being said, without further ado, go ahead and take it away, Brandon. Cool. Well, my name's uh, Brandon. I'm a business advisor here at Odoo, and my role specifically is to uh, teach people about Odoo, help them learn and see how they could use Odoo in their business. Today, we're going to talk specifically around surveys um, right here. As, uh, as you guys probably already know, Odoo is a modular business application suite. So, Every single one of these is its own application. However, each of these applications can be used um, independently or integrated with themselves. Now, within our Surveys app, if I click there, we can see our surveys. Now, we have a few different uh, things to look at on our surveys. We have uh, draft, in progress, closed, permanent, etc. and Today, what I want to talk about is what surveys, uh, I mean, within surveys, how can you use them to help your business? Now, surveys are really neat because there's a lot of different options within Odoo on how you create your surveys. A survey could be simple as getting feedback on what do people think about your company. For example, in my test, I have, do you like Odoo? And this contains two questions. What is your favorite feature of Odoo? And what do you least like about Odoo? Now, you can have as many different, if you click edit right here, you can add as many different lines uh, in terms of different uh, pages, and each one has a question, or you can go directly into the uh, pages and then have as many different questions as you want as well. In this case, what we're going to do is I'm going to add a line, and from here we can have another question that's related to Odoo. Uh, what is your favorite uh, application? So within this, we have a type of question. This can be a multiple lines of text box. It can be a single line text box. Uh, we could have it as a numerical value, a date, multiple choice, uh, multiple choice and with multiple answers allowed, or even a matrix as well. If we just do a multiple lines text box, it's very simple. You can just have somebody enter in anything that they want, any string, and that will show up as the answer. If it's a single line, you only have a single line text box. As you can see, we can choose this to be an email. Um, so what is your email? Something like that. Numerical value, this could be based off of um, specifically a number or how many times do you visit Odoo in a day? That kind of a thing. Date, when did you start using Odoo? Multiple choice, only one answer. You can choose the choices right here. You can write them out and add as many different lines as you want and then you can also have your answer as well. Um, multiple choice, multiple answers, same idea, you can have as many answers as you want but there's multiple answers that work for the answer um, and then you also have your matrix as well. So in our case I have it very simple, what is your favorite application? We're just going to have this a multiple lines text box um, you can also, one more thing, you can also have uh, it set as, do, you, do we have mandatory answers? So I'm just going to save and close. So now we have least favorite, your favorite feature, least like, and your favorite application. From here I can click save. Once again, I can always add uh, more pages to this if I want. I can change the title whenever I want. And we can do a few different things. Now. To test this, we can actually do this on our own website. We click Test Survey. 
That's actually going to take us to the Odoo website. And from here, this is what your customer would see. So here's our test. We can start the survey and we can put in whatever information we want. So favorite feature of Odoo, let's call it survey. What do you least like about Odoo? It, nothing, it is awesome. What is your favorite application? This could be anything, we'll call it website. So within this, we have our page title, what is our favorite feature, and these are our answers. We can make this answer, we can add as much uh, line slash text that we want to it. And as you can see, we can have multiple pages on this as well. From here, I'm going to submit this survey. What that will do is that will take us to our new page. If we jump back into survey, we'll be able to see all the answers that somebody put in. So if I jump into survey, I can see these answers and I can see what people may have written about our survey. So favorite feature, user responses, um, website, any new things that we have. So survey allows us to have a bunch of different, uh, um, what's the best way to put this? Survey allows us to ask any questions to our customers, any questions to our employees, any questions, period, and then uh, categorize these questions and track them. We can also add filters as well. Um, so jumping back into our surveys, we can also see that there's a survey already created from somebody else. So this is a more complex survey. This is something where we have multiple pages. So in your Odoo usage, are you using it on a daily basis? Which modules are you using? And you have different types of questions as well. These are multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple answers. Um, ergonomy, ease of use, what do you think about the documentation, what do you think about the process, um, so on and so forth. So we can have multiple, uh, uh, much more complicated surveys than what I've already shown you, um, as well as you can have people go backwards. Now within this, we can also print this survey. We can share and invite people by email. So you can share this public web link uh, with the audience. We can share it with the, um, uh, as a public web link. And then we also can send this to, as a private invitation as well. You can choose existing contacts. Um, you can also add a list of emails and you can change the subject line, of course. And here it is, hello, we're conducting a survey. Um, do you want to participate? And then any attachments we have as well. We can also view our results right here. So all we do is we click view results. That's going to take us to this page. This is our user feedback form. And we can have different uh, types of data tracked in this. So we have our pie chart, but we could also just look at it through pure data. We can also take a look at it in graph form, or once again, just straight uh, line data, as well as uh, multi-graph, depending on how we have our uh, survey set up. So we can make our surveys very, very complicated and gather a lot of different data, um, which will make it, uh, which, which helps us be more successful within our own company. And whether we're doing this for our employees or our customers or anybody in between, this allows us to then take that data and use it in our decision-making process. So, it's pretty simple. This all is uh, saved on our website. So we can also go into finished surveys. We can go into all surveys. Um, it's, it's fully functional across Odoo. Um, ba -ba -ba. Ones. So, Beyond that, um, once again, you can get uh, surveys to be very complicated or you can make them simple, entirely up to you. 
You can also use our two different uh, fields up here to see exactly what the status is of each of these forms and then what's currently happening on each of these forms and dive into all of them. Um, yeah, that's uh, surveys in a nutshell. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Great. Uh, well, I'll give folks an opportunity to uh, gather any questions that they might have. But uh, in the meantime, I would like to remind everyone uh, that Odoo version 12 has been released. And so we will be starting up our Odoo tours, uh, I believe starting in November. Uh, but you can find any and all of that information regarding our Odoo tours, of which we will have, uh, I believe, over 100 in this hemisphere, both in North uh, and South America. Um, you can find all of that information at odoo.com slash events. Uh, finally, if you have uh, any questions or comments about this webinar that we cannot address today, uh, by all means, send us an email. We are at webinars at odoo.com. And if you want to speak to Brandon directly, Brandon, what's your email address? Uh, bjo at odoo.com. Great. Uh, well, then let's see here. I, I mean, it uh, looks like the... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just got to come it pretty simple and clear. I mean, yeah, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, Try to make it easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess then with that being said, uh, we thank you all for watching us and joining us today. Uh, Brandon, anything else you'd like to add before we go? Yeah, if you have any specific questions, you can send them over to me, bjo at odoo.com. Uh, you can also schedule a demo if you want to see more of the apps. And uh, right. you can schedule it. Uh, uh, we'll we'll paste the link below on just scheduling a demo with me, we can go through more than just surveys since there's a lot that Odoo has to offer. Sure. Uh, let's see, I guess, uh, well, uh, here, let's go with uh, one, one last minute question here. Um, how do you set up uh, the multiple choice for multiple choice for answers on a, on a survey? Can you show yeah. us that right quick? Yeah, so it's going back to it, if we were going into my test form, when you set it up, uh, you get to choose what type of a question it is. So if we go into our survey right here, I gotta click edit. Oops. And then we dive in here and we add a line. We would be able to choose multiple answers and then you would choose the choices from here. Right, yeah. Cool. So you can have only one answer and that means somebody can only choose one, or you can have multiple choices, and then you can check as many answers as you want. Fantastic. Uh, well then, yeah, I hope that uh, that answers the question. And again, uh, if you have any other last minute ones, by all means, send them to us. Uh, we're at, once again, webinars at odoo.com, and Brandon? Uh, bjo at odoo.com. Great. So then with that being said, thank you all for joining us. This is Odoo Live signing off. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Take care.